week one, write all 10 numerals in a grid on your page and trace with a marker to turn the numbers into shapes. Start your project by writing all the numerals, one, two, three, four at the top, five, six, seven, eight, nine at the bottom. You can make bubble letters by tracing the area inside and outside of the numbers to make shapes. Draw lines in between the numbers to make a grid where each rectangle has its own number. Week two, paint the shapes the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, trying not to mix them into secondary colors, and trying to put different colors side by side. Take out some paint. Start with yellow because it's the weakest color and it will be less likely to mix up. We are aiming to have just the primary colors on this painting, so pick a bunch of shapes that you want to be yellow and then wash your brush very thoroughly so that you can move on to the next color. Make sure that your brush is clean and dry before using the next weakest color, which is red. You are going to choose some shapes to paint red. Do not paste any red shapes next to previously painted red shapes. Always try to make sure that there are different colors side by side to create contrast and really make the painting pop. If your colors start to mix, just wipe off your brush so that you do not accidentally make a secondary color. Wash your brush before you use your final color of blue. That is the third primary color and the last primary color we will use. Paint some shapes. And remember, if you go outside the lines and you start mixing some secondary colors, just wipe off your brush so that you can move on. If you make small mistakes, it just makes your project more beautiful. Please don't stress if you start mixing some secondary colors on mistake. We're now going to add some white to each color to really play with the contrast within our colors. Wash your brush very well and mix together the white and the color in question that you'd like to use so that you can start painting some other shapes. Do the same thing with each of your primary colors to make a lighter tint of each one. This project will start to look very painterly. That is, the focus will be on the paint instead of the numbers. It's starting to look very exciting, sometimes even a little bit messy, but that's okay because we are going to go back in at the end and trace with black. When you add black to a color, it makes it darker. Now here's a trick. When you mix this color to make a darker shade of the color of your choice, you can then use the back of the paintbrush. Yep, the point of the handle can be used to dip into your paint and to use as a drawing tool. You can make dots, lines, stripes, you can trace your elements, you can trace your shapes. This starts to create some mixing of colors and you're going to try to avoid that as best as you can, but just remember the mixing of the colors creates a beautiful accidental blending that turns into true art on your page. Even though we are trying to use only the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, the happy accidents that happen when you are using thick globs of paint are truly beautiful and are some of the most exciting parts of this project. As you get finished up, you can start carving into the surface of the paint with the back of the paintbrush to create some texture. Texture, texture, texture. Texture, texture, texture. And there you have it, your finished Jasper John's numbers painting. Remember, upload a pic of your finished painting to the Jasper John's upload assignment for a grade. Meow? I mean, bye.